Welcome back. This is Squirrely Fibers. Today I have a recap of everything I knit in 2023 video. Um, hopefully most, most things. There are some fails though, some flops, but anyways, we're going to go through all the stuff I knit in 2023 and I'm going to talk a little bit about it and we're going to have some fun. So this little beauty of a number. We'll start off with this. This I actually started in 2022. I knit it, oh, I started it like near the end of the year, maybe like October, September, October, whenever it came out, I knit it like right away. But this mother took me a good long time. It is a lot of knitting. <laughs> it's a fingering weight, which is like a dream. I love fingering weight projects. Um, to wear like they just they're so nice they're so soft they're so light I actually want to make more fingering weight projects but okay this is the big cozy cardi by Andrea Mowry it's got this beautiful Surrey um, collar this is Lillian Pine um, Surrey this color is under the sea and then the rest of the beautiful cardigan is made up with La Bien Aimé uh, Tickle, which is my favorite color. So beautiful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like love this piece. I was so excited when I, I had this in my stash and I put these together. I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be so lovely. And I was right. <laughs> I absolutely love it. There's some color pooling, but I just love the way uh, Tickle kind of pools. Um, I love purple and or not purple sorry uh blue like minty teal blue and pink and i just love how they look together but i feel like you can do it sometimes it doesn't turn out nicely but in tickle it just it looks so good so this is i think one of the first things i finished in 2023 so i didn't finish it it took it took me a while i think it took me like two or three months to knit it was a solid dedication but um yeah I really like it um I don't wear actually I've worn it a few times but um we I live in uh Vancouver well not Vancouver I live in Surrey uh, which is close to Vancouver so it's more mild here so I don't wear knits a ton um but this one is really nice I like wearing it at home I've worn it to work a couple of times actually it's really really cute I do find sometimes it slides down a little bit, like it won't fall off, but the shawl collar will kind of slide down. So that's just something to be um, aware of. Just because the construction, there's no seams or anything, you like seam it up down here. Um, but yeah, it's really cozy and cute. And I just, I love it. Yeah. So, next up. Okay, this is going to be a hot video. This is not going to be in order. Not going to be in order. Okay. Another thing I believe I, I think I finished this in 2023. I haven't looked. I'm pretty sure I did. But this is the Easy V. <laughs> I have ends that have just, I've just not woven them in. Actually, the way I tell that it's the, uh, the front and the back is I left all the ends for the back just hanging so that I could tell I'm really bad at weaving in the ends so I just wove in the stuff so you can't see them but yeah this is my beautiful easy V it's so cute oh my gosh it looks adorable with a button-up I've worn this to work with a button-up I think it looks really really cute um, but yeah so this one is made out of labby no not labby um, the wandering flock in icy lavender which is the beautiful main color And then all the color work is, yeah, they're all Chelsea Lux yarn. And it's the worsted baby alpaca? Alpaca? It has alpaca in it. I know that. Um, and then I think this one is like golden goose or something like that, the green. This one was a pre ski. And I think this is agate. So yeah, I think it turned out really, really cute. Most people knit um, this with like spin cycle, but I kind of just wanted like, like blocked off colors for it. 
I thought it looked good, and I just really wanted a purple sweater, so I made it. Um, it has pilled a little, well, actually all my projects have pilled, but for some reason the front, this guy is pilling. Um, I haven't de-pilled it yet though. I'm pretty lazy, pretty bad at that, but it's really, really comfy, really cozy, and uh, yeah. This part does slide down. That's the only thing, and I did knit this on like a small, I knit like the cast on for the size down. So I cast on for the size down because I read, before I knit this, I read uh, a bunch of the Ravelry projects and a lot of people were struggling with expanding, what do you call this? Neckline, <laughs> neckline. Um, so I did knit this part size down, but it still like stretches a lot. So just something to keep in mind because ribbing like does stretch, so. Um, yeah, but I still like it. I think it's cute. I think it, it looks cute too when you like have it off the shoulder. And because I knit the smaller one, it's not like really expanding. So, yeah. Super cute. Oh, we just want it back up. Push it back up. <laughs> okay. So, let's move on. Okay. This one... I believe I started it in 2022 as well, in the summer of 2022. I think I wanted either to, I think I cast this on for the Knit, Knit City last year, so I would have something at the Knit Night, because I signed up for this Knit Night, and then I don't think I had any projects on the go, and I knew I wanted to knit this. I bought the yarn, so I cast it on, and so it, like, it was fall. <laughs> by the time we got there, and then I had like, I think it was this, no. But yeah, it, it, I had the big cozy that I wanted to knit, so this got dropped, because I was like, well, it's a summer garment, because I, I knew I would wear this in the summer, because it's cotton, um, and it's by Ilamani Il, Sabri, and it's the, oh yeah, it's just Sabri. No, Sabri 2? Sabri 2, so it's the, thicker one it's not the fingering weight one um, and it's a chain at construction and yeah so it's just it's a really nice light not light but like airy it's a really airy knit um, so it's perfect in the summer I wear it with dresses and stuff and just like jeans and yeah I really really like this I really like this style of cardigan I have ones that like go go to here and then I wear them in the summer all the time and they're just like light and they're kind of cottony and I want to design and make some like that. And I have yarn for them that I want. So anyways, I really enjoyed this one. But I finished it this summer. So I had it at the end of the summer. But it's so cute. I love it. And I had a really big thing for like purple and lavender and lilac um, last year, I'm noticing. So yeah, this is one of the little cuties. The pockets definitely weighed the front down a little bit. So like the front is sorry my nose is so itchy i don't know why um my sorry the pocket's weighed down a bit in the front so the back is a little bit up so just something to keep in mind if you're knitting this out of cotton um yeah but i love the pocket construction it's like a slanted pocket and it's on the inside so it's like an invisible pocket it's so cool so i really enjoyed making that that was cool Okay, let's do this guy. This guy is my Lento. He is inside out. <laughs> okay, I actually really love this knit. I got a little bit sad when I blocked it though, not gonna lie. I can't tell which, I need to put a tag on it so I know which side's the front because unlike this one, I don't think I left an end. Oh no. Well, it's going on. We'll see what happens. Okay. Ah, oh, it's just so cute. This fabric is like what I wanted so badly. These colors. So I use Lab Labia Nome. Um, I use the Boucle and Felix. So I use Felix and Lab and Felix is Labia Nome. So I use Felix and their Boucle in neon static. The Felix, the colorway I used is sea glass. So then you get this like overall like per uh, not purple minty vibe, but then you get like rainbow, 
which is so much fun. Um, so before I blocked this, these sleeves were like ever so slightly shorter. <laughs> and like, I was quite, I just, I think they grew a little bit too much um, for my liking. So I'm always kind of like, <laughs> so they either need to be longer or shorter. So I could probably fix that though. It's like one of those whip Wednesday sort of deals. But right now we're just, we're just going with it because it's cute. It's adorable. It was easy. I definitely knit the Lento again. It was a very enjoyable knit. It's got a folded over neckband. I'm always concerned about this because I, I think that I'm like, I think they're going to be like thick, like way too thick, but this one's like perfect. It's not too thick. It's nice. It's got like a nice even finish. I just really like it. But yeah, so I really enjoyed that one. And then because it's like three quarter length, I wore it um, in like September and October, um, it wasn't too hot and I just wish that maybe, maybe I would like knit the ribbing a little tighter because I do like having the three quarter length, um, but I just wish this was like tighter now so it like stayed up a little bit more, but yeah, but I've, I've worn this one quite a bit actually. I really enjoy it. The boucle is so nice and it's like soft and airy and it's not really heavy. Um, unlike my Easy V, this one's like pretty hefty. It's a it's a big boy. It's um it's not light, that's for sure. But this one is just like light and airy and beautiful. So yeah. Okay. Moving on. of trying on so okay this one I finished more recently and I have to say oh once again <laughs> before I go on like I'm just so bad with all the ends I like I'm so bad if you can't see them then uh, they probably won't get woven in <laughs> occupational hazard <laughs> anyways this one I was just so happy with the fit like I love this fit I feel like the sleeves grew or something though I don't know why but um it's so cozy this is almost all lab no why do I want to say that because I knit in lab anime a lot <laughs> um this is almost all wandering flock and this was like a planned out pattern like color wise for a while. Like I knew I wanted like a pastel stripe when I saw the, this is the Northwoods V-neck. I don't think it's called a deep V, no. Northwoods V-neck by Jessie Maid. Um, but I had trouble picking out my colors. I don't know if I'm like 100% satisfied, maybe like 90%. I feel like I was flopping with this color or like this color, this is a Lobby Anime, but I still don't even know if I would really like that. Um, I just thought this was like a little too pale maybe, but I still really like it. I think it's really, really cute. It's just like a pastel dream. It looks so cute with jeans. And uh, yeah, so I wear this one to work. I really like it. I want to make more because I love this v-neck. This v-neck is like the perfect amount of v. Like I can wear it to work comfortably. Sometimes I'll like wear like a v-neck um, tank underneath and then it's like it's just just it's just perfect. It's just perfect. It's just beautiful. Look at this. so gorgeous. Anyways, <laughs> um, I also love drop shoulder and I don't know how I feel about construction. I think I like construction and drop shoulder more than like, like this one is a raglan. And I always mess up my raglans because by not paying attention. Um, but for some reason, like, there's no like increases or decreases to like mess up really. So you just gotta knit until like however long it says or however long you want for your arm. And I just think that this silhouette looks better on me um, than a raglan. I, I don't know, but yeah, personal preference. Um, so I definitely want like some solid ones in this because um, like the sleeves are perfect. 
the raglan's perfect, like the armhole and like the V, the body, like it just, it, it fits me so nicely. I just love it. It's so cute. Oh, so good. Okay. So yeah, the most of this is a wandering flock except for the blue. So this is Chelsea Lux yarn in her DK. This is chocolate chip mint. Um, so I knit this stripe that and then this one is wandering so the rest are wandering flock this is marie antoinette uh icy lavender neon sherbet dusty blue peach pop so yeah those are all the gorgeous colors it's so cute i just can't stop <laughs> okay so there's that one okay what else what else? Um, let's do, okay, this one is like finished but not. <laughs> this one I knit in the summer. I have not woven in like any of my ends, of course, but I am a little bit undecided on if this is actually truly a finished object or not. So we will see. I knit this to wear with like dresses, but I kind of also want to wear it with jeans, but if I wear it with jeans, it's like slightly too short, I feel like. I feel like it needs to be a little bit longer, and I was worried that I was going to run out of yarn, so I stopped, but I have a little bit of yarn left, so I might add just like an inch or two, um, which is why I haven't like woven in everything, but it's so cute. I love it. Such a good little silhouette. Once again, it's kind of like a drop shoulder. Um, but there, you, there's like no sleeves to knit, so you're not knitting sleeves, you're just adding ribbing at the end. Um, but this is the Petal Party Crop. So I knit this when Aro Knits and Pearls and her friends were doing a cowl. Um, so I just like picked this up and joined the cowl. Because um, I already had this color, and this yarn, and I think I already had planned to make one of these. So I just was like, well, everyone else is doing it and I want it and so I did it but I really love this color it's got like royal blues and then like really really like beautiful aqua minty color I, I love this color this is gonna be a growing theme and this year there'll be a whole lot more of this color but I really love it and then this was actually a fun stitch to knit I messed it up the first time but once I unraveled it and then like fixed it it was very easy like I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> um yeah so this this yarn is rainbow and sprinkles she's a Australian indie dyer um and this one was called like bluey by Xavier so yeah I, I got it like I think over a year and a bit ago but it's so cute so I think I just need to add some length I think it'll be even better and then a little bit more. So yeah. <laughs> There's that one. And then, oh, I forgot what this one's called. No. Okay. I found it. Bow set by Devin Ventry. And it's like color work yoke, um, like tea. Like she has a pattern as a tea. And I knit it in... This is all Lavi No, not all of it is Lavi Okay, so I knit it in Lavi Anime and Chelsea Lux. Um, this is Lavi Anime. I believe this is Lichen. The light blue is that chocolate chip mint in uh, Chelsea Lux. And then this one is like Vegra. It's like a newer color in Lavi Anime. So I knit this one. So it is a little shorter, but I knit this one to be worn with uh, dresses. So... Yeah, when it when it was like spring and summertime, maybe not like summer summer, <laughs> like a Canadian summer um, where it's not like super hot out. I would wear it with dresses, so I really enjoyed that. It actually looks cute with jeans though, so maybe if I like tuck in my shirt, I get away with it. Yeah, so cute. Um, do I have anything I want to say? I don't think so. I think it's good. It's good. It's lovely. This is like one of my more successful teas I've knit. I have this like thing 
where in the summertime I would like try to knit a tee and I, I would just like epically fail. And that's happened every year, even though I've only been knitting for like two years now. <laughs> but actually, while we're on that topic, this was my failed knit of 2023. It is a summer tee and I like the pattern and I want to knit the pattern, but I just like royally goofed this up. So this, I'll show you, is the Jessie made so summer tea um and it's like a great pattern and i knit it in the summer i went to victoria to see my dad and like i knit it on the ferry and it was a great knit and the yarn feels nice however i blocked it and it just like grew so much it's just like <laughs> it grew so much and this got all ripply um yeah so this is a bamboo yarn or is it bamboo it's rayon from bamboo it's a lion brand yarn and uh yeah i don't i'm not a fan of the smell of this yarn i don't know it just, there's just something off-putting about it and i washed it and i blocked it and the smell didn't go away i don't know what happened so anyways it turned out it like stretched out it got really wide and then because this is i did the folded over um ribbing which is gorgeous it looks so good before i blocked it it was so beautiful and then it like because this is bamboo and i like sh i should have known better i knew it was gonna grow but like i didn't think about what would happen to the bottom um yeah so it grew and then this part dragged it down and stretched it out because it's just the distribute like it just doesn't work um yeah but i want to knit this one again um i have some labby anime sport i also would go down in needle size i think i went up to meet gauge and then it grew but i also blocked i don't know anyways <laughs> this is my fail of the year but that's okay i enjoyed knitting it so that's fine i'm okay with it and i learned lots of things but this is a gorgeous pattern like i just love the actual tee, the the scoop neck is beautiful. The like folded over. There's other options too. She has like folded ribbing, and then you could even do a raw edge. So if I knit this again in bamboo, what I would do is go down a needle size, and then um, not do the folded over band. I would do a raw edge, and then knit it, and I think it would be fine. So if I wanted to re-knit this one, I could. And I might try washing the yarn again one more time maybe add like a scent or something and see what happens. Um, Cause I really like this color and the yarn is really, really soft and light and airy. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, I think, are we to, oops. <laughs> um, no, we're not. Okay, I have one more sweater. This sweater is, oh, I forgot the name of this one too, uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna go look, one second. Okay, I found it. This is the Hold the Line sweater by Karen Eng, E-N-G. Um, I knit this one also kind of at the beginning of the year and I re-knit it a few times cause I feel like I either messed up the raglan or I didn't like it or something. So I like re-knit it or knit it another size. I don't know, it took me a while. I also added some short rows to the back because um, I noticed the pattern didn't have any and I was just kind of getting into short rows and understanding like their utility. So I just kind of added some to the ribbing at the top. Um, but yeah, this one's really, really cute. It's, I don't know, it just, it just looks nice. It looks good. Um, the yarn is also Wandering Flock, apparently. I really like them this year. <laughs> um, and this is the Kelly Green color. But it's so cute. I like just love this bell sleeve. It's a bulky yarn, so it is kind of warm. Um, so I don't wear it like a ton, but it's it's really cute. Nice little statement. I love I love the lace too. It's just so cute. But yeah. So another cute little make. <laughs> but yeah. Um, is there anything else I would say? No, I think I just I 
when I was knitting this, I messed up the size or my gauge and I, gauge was a kind of a new thing for me. So I finally ended it like out of place because I, I think I ripped it out. I ended it out of place where I was happy and it fits. But yeah, it's definitely really warm. So I'm going to take that off. Okay. Let's see. I think I knit two shawls this year. Yes. Two shawls. Okay. Let's do... Oh, I forgot the name of that one too. Okay, anyways, let's do this one. This is the Dixie Creek, Creek Shawl by Salt City Knits. And I actually did this as a test. This is my first ever test. Um, I don't know if I will be a test knitter <laughs> a lot because um, having a deadline is kind of hard. <laughs> I did do it in the deadline, but I'm just not a good deadline. Well, I, I mean, I can be. But I don't, I don't personally enjoy the pressure of having a deadline for my knits. However, I really wanted to make this when she shared it on her podcast. Um, I just thought it looked so beautiful. And I kind of, as soon as I saw it, I kind of had my yarn picked out for it. Um, so, yeah, she knit hers in all one color, which would look really, really nice. Um, I don't know if I want another shawl, like, like if I'm going to knit a, sh a shawl, I feel like I need to knit a different one each time. Like the whole point of knitting a shawl, I feel like is, oh, I did this the wrong way, is to like engage with some sort of stitch pattern, design, color, like it's a more technical knit, I believe. Um, Whereas like sometimes knitting a sweater, like yes, there's construction, but um, it can be a little more mindless for me, I feel like, depending on what you do, obviously. But if you're knitting a basic sweater, that's kind of my go-to. But this one, you definitely have to think about more. Um, but I really enjoyed the lace because it was like a repeatable, memorizable lace. So this one was actually pretty easy in the general scheme of things for like pick up and like just knit um yeah so i really really enjoyed it and i just think it's so pretty so gorgeous i had the idea of like wearing it with like a dress to like a wedding or something like i just think it's so cute i think other people's might have, like i think it's supposed to be a little bit bigger but the yarn i used was la Vienna may and i think it's a little bit smaller than like her fingering was like a typical like 400 yards and this was like a 463 yard so I think mine turned out a little bit smaller um but I really like it I think it's really cute and I like it as a little shawl for like going out and like I don't wear shawls on their own a lot but like I like wearing shawls as like scarves like this and I do this a lot so it's like perfect because it's not too big. It's just the right size. And then it's really cozy under your jacket. Also, I apologize for the noise. <laughs> it's a little noisy upstairs, but that's okay. Okay, but yeah. So this is one of my shawls. And my other shawl, this one has a long name. It's like Midwestern Afternoon Shawl by Daisy Chain Creations. Wow, I can't believe I remember that. Um, this one I chose as like a technical knit because I just thought it was so pretty and I had um, an Easter set, actually two Easter sets. Um, and I wanted, I was trying to find a way to use your minis and this is a great shawl for that. There's four minis um, colors and then I believe you use two skin, not not quite fully two skin, not quite fully two skeins, but um, two skeins to knit the main color. So it's two skein main color and then four minis. Um, but yeah, it's just it's such a cute. I really enjoyed this knit. This was like a very enjoyable process knit, and once again, it's like a smaller shawl, so you can wear it as a cute little scarf. It's so cute, but yeah. I really, really enjoyed this one. It was a great knit. It's so pretty, that lace man. Look at the, oh, this was a really enjoyable stitch. 
And, like, I feel like it was very potato chippy because you would, like, finish one color and then switch to the main color and then go to the next color and then switch. So it was always interesting. So very enjoyable knit for last year. Oh, hey there. <laughs> so I missed one. <laughs> this is my muscle. Oh, people call it muscle burg, muscle burrow. I don't know. It's one of the two. I'm not sure one of those it's the one that you like whoop let's just fling it across the room you knit it in like a big tube and then you like do increases and decreases and then you just like stick it in one end and you put it on it's great and you could like it basically is like one skein of at least fingering I'm not sure how that works um, with like DK because you can knit it at lots of different gauges the pattern gives you lots of options. I like, personally, a very oversized, slouchy, although I do feel like maybe it's a little tall to be slouchy. I was hoping that I could like fold it over and be slouchy, but if I fold it over, it's just like a little, little beanie, little bean, with like a tiny bit of slouch. But if I go like this, then I can get the slouch, but it might be too big. But then I have this thing where, like, I fold it over at the back because I actually pulled it out. One of my favorite, like, store-bought beanies of all time. Dude, I've worn this thing so much. I think I almost lost it at one point. I was so sad, so devastated. It's just, like, the perfect store-bought beanie. I know it was supposed to be all handmade, but this is literally my favorite beanie of all time. And it's got that little folded over detail. And it's, I just, I want a pattern like that. Maybe I should make one. Look at, look at that. The little, it's sewn in. It's just like the little slouch. And then it like, it like kind of pulls it down. So this side's kind of shorter and this side's longer. So you get like the slouch, but not too much. I want to be like that. Maybe I should try to figure out that. Anyways, so this one. See, like, if I just, like, leave it as tall as it goes, <laughs> it does that. But if I do the little rolly, rolly foldy, it does that. Okay, hang on. There. <laughs> it does that. It looks better. Much better. I just like it. I don't know if it's a me style, but I just like that little, I don't know, this little thing. Okay, so that's done. Um, also, oh, actually, no, it's not done. This is La Vienna Bay Cash Merino in the colorway. You guessed it. Tickle, you wanna see something cool? It matches. I have a matching toque to my cardigan. <laughs> so funny, it literally matches. It's the exact same yarn. And if I didn't say it, this was Cash Merino. Um, so it's like a buttery soft little dream. So cute. So cute. I can't get over it. Although in the future, I don't know if I'm a fan of the colored beanies. Or, no. Let's try that again. <laughs> the variegated beanies. I mean, it's really cute and I really like it. But other than pairing it with my knits, it's harder to pair with things. Not gonna lie. This, I think a solid color on my head just looks a little better. Not gonna lie. So part of me was like, should I just rip it out and like turn this baby into a scarf? Okay, there's, there's too much colors here. But like, think about it. Like, this looks a little bit better, I feel like. But I also like this beanie. Like, I don't really wanna rip it out because. If I wanted to do that, I'd probably just buy more yarn. It's too cute. So, anyways, thoughts for the future. Because this was the first, first beanie? Oh, no, 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 no. I made a cable beanie. When did I make that? Did I make that last year? I don't know. <laughs> I have one more beanie somewhere. That's a cable beanie. Um, but it's pot pink. So, maybe I should get that for you. Okay, yeah. Surprise! <laughs>
<laughs> I went and grabbed it. <laughs> so this is the other beading I made. I'm not sure if I made it last year or the year before. I can't remember. Anyways, this is the Happy Dog Beanie, I believe, by... Hang on. Anne Hansen. <laughs> okay. Um, I really enjoyed this make. Might as well talk about it. I really enjoyed this one. It was my first kind of like cable... Oh, it's gonna like blow out. It was my first cable hat, which was fun to knit. However, I think I made it too small, but like, um, not too small for my head, just maybe a little too short. Like, I think I'd rather it be, see like that slouchy thing again. Oh, it's kind of cute. Well, it's too long though. It needs to be like, yeah, like the back thing. I need the back thing. Doesn't that look better? It looks better. But then, so if this isn't folded over, it's a little more stretchy in here. That looks kind of cute, though. Let's we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I feel like I'm not a fan of this, like, little cappy. Like, I probably need to knit some more, like, slouchy ones. I think slouchy is a little bit better. But this one kind of comes to a point. Anyways, I am totally processing the way I feel about this on here. Um, this is Lady Day, no, Lady Dye Yarns. I got this at my local yarn store. Um, I must have done this the year before because I made a bunch of knits for family and or maybe I did in January. I don't know. Either 2021 or 2022 this was done in. Or no, sorry, backwards. 2022 or 2023 this was done in but this is lady dye yarns and it's just like a hot pink color so cute um yeah now i feel like i need to wear a beanie <laughs> my hair's all messed up oh i forgot to tell you this shawl is made out of hedgehog fibers if you were wondering um did i talk about all my yeah okay so we are a little squirrely here. Thank you if you're joining us. <laughs> um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is a little bit of spinning. I started spinning this year. And I have caught the spinning bug. Yes, I have. So I have spun a whole bunch of yarns. This was my first yarn ever spun. It's so bad. <laughs> and then I, so this is the same fiber but I got a little bit better. I can't remember. This one was spindle spun. This one might have been spun on an e-spinner. I think I spun it on an e-spinner. And this is my first time spinning Rambouillet. This is a chaotic fibers color. And Rambouillet is tricky, man. I don't know if I'm like, a huge fan of Rambouillet. It um, has a tendency to felt and the staple length is really short. It's really soft. It's really squishy. I don't know if I would say like, like it's soft, but I don't know. I don't know how to s describe it. It's very bouncy, very squish and bouncy. So I was thinking of making a hat maybe this year with like a white as a main color. Maybe do some brioche and then have like a two color brioche hat out of this. So that could be fun. Um, this was one of the first yarns that I spun up a little sample first. So yeah. I also thought I was spinning like a sport weight, but this is definitely not a sport weight. Um, definitely takes a while to like figure out your spinning. And I think this guy plumped up a lot. Um, this was one a more recent spin though. Let's do some older ones. Okay, this one is so beautiful. I like love it. This is Corydale. Corydale, yep. Yeah. This was Lillian Pine. And it is just oh, I can't wait to put this into something. A top or a shawl. It's so squishy. So squishy. It's kind of stuck <laughs> since it's been sitting in the skein for a while. But it's just so beautiful. 
I just love, I love the way this one turned out. It turned out like a true sport DK. So I'm very excited about this guy. <sighs> it's going to look so good. But yeah, this was Lillian Pine um, in the Corydale. And when Lillian Pine dyes up her colors, I was talking to her at a fiber festival. She often, oh, didn't do that very well. Um, she usually uses her dyes to like help when like she's designing, like coming up with colors, kind of like her inspiration. So she always has like lots of different um, dyes, dyes, <laughs> lots of different fiber that she's dyed up. Um, and it's not usually repeatable. Like every year she kind of has a few different ones. I got some from her this year. I'm very excited about it. So there's that. This one is a bunch of like chaotic fibers, um, merino in little like mini 25 gram bundles. And I played with some hand carters and blended fiber and then spun it. And spun it like what I thought was pretty thin, but what I'm learning is yarn plumps up quite a bit after you've washed it. So it's just a kind of mix mash, mix mash, <laughs> uh, a, a mish mash of different colors. I don't know how well this is gonna show up. There's a lot of pink in there, there's blue, there's like tealy colors. So it's not gonna spin up like in a fractal or anything, it's just really random. Um, which is kind of cool. So I'm excited to try these out and see how they look um, knit up. But I'm also like terrified because they're my hand spun. They're my babies. And they deserve to be honored in pretty ways. Okay, where are we at? Mm, almost there, guys. We're almost there. I spent like a decent amount, not too much. I kind of started halfway through the year with my spinning. Um, let's do this guy. This guy did not turn out the way I wanted it to. I had a bit of trouble with it, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of it. I bought a bunch of fiber, um, because I was going to try and do a sweater spin, but this came out way bulkier than I thought it'd be. And I kind of had trouble, because I was trying to blend the gray from one braid with the colors from other braids, but I had a hard time draft because I... I was holding two fibers and drafting it together and I was just having a lot of trouble pull, pulling from both at the same time. Um, so this is not my favorite and it kind of came out kind of bulky, but yeah, this is probably make a cute hat. So I'm not sure what to do with the rest of the fiber though, if I want to like spin up some thin, thinner, um, yarn or stick with like the bulky and like just make a sweater. I don't know. I haven't decided. That one's undecided. Okay. And then, ooh, this guy was also chaotic fibers. So uh, most of my fiber is chaotic fibers or Lillian Pine, which are both Canadian dyers. Um, so if you're in Canada, uh, and Lillian Pine is local to Calgary, I believe. And Chaotic Fibers, is she on the island? I can't remember. But she's on the west coast, I know that. So this is another one of her beautiful braids. This is bamboo, um, like a bamboo blend with, oh, I can't remember what else. But I really enjoyed spinning this. It was like a dream to spin up. Um, she's got some really nice blends for her. Uh, shop and I really enjoyed anything with like a little like she had a little bit of bamboo in them and Yeah, I just enjoyed them. This one actually had a little bit of bamboo in it, too. I think this is Targi um, Targi It was like a three Targi silk and bamboo or something like that. I, I can't remember Definitely Targi. This one was a fun spin up. I'm kind of learning. I like Targi a little bit. But yeah, this is a Lillian Pine colorway. It's blowing out a lot. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, this one came out like kind of like a DK as well. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I got for you guys. So that's kind of my year-end 
review wrap up of my knitting and spinning. So thank you so much for joining me. I know it was a little up and down and all around and squirrely because I'm a little squirrely. <laughs> but uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys again soon.